Okay, Honors Algebra 2, Chapter 4. This is kind of an addition to the factoring. It's how we factor by grouping. It's a, it's a skill or a, um, it's a technique of, of factoring that works. So we first start just by factoring out some uh, common factors in this. So when students look at this, they have trouble figuring out how many terms it is. This is really two terms here. There's multiple terms within a term. But this quantity, 5 times a quantity plus w times a quantity, we notice these two quantities are the same. So this problem could be looked at as me saying like 5m plus wm. These both have an m in it, so I could factor out an m. I'd be left with 5 plus w. We factor the common factor. Well, this, the common factor that we're going to factor out is a quantity. So we're not factoring out a single letter, we're factoring out this entire group because that same group is in both terms. When we do that, you're left with the 5 plus w still. So it's very similar to this example over here, but instead of being m, it's a group x plus y. And students have a hard time with this because they see out there's an x plus y and another one, but they only see one when they factor it out. Well, if we distribute this, this whole quantity has to get distributed to both the 5 and the w, so there still really is two of these quantities you multiply through. But this is the first part of factor by grouping is realize that you can factor out a group if within the terms they have the same group. So in here, you look at this, is z minus 5 the same as 5 minus z? They're not, and so we might need to adapt this a little bit. They're the same uh, absolute values, but they're different signs, and so if we first factor out a negative, so if we change this and factor out a negative, let's factor out a negative of this parenthesis. You can always factor out a negative, um, negative 1. It just changes the sign. So I'm going to change this to a negative 5. I'm going to factor out a negative of this. So that makes that a negative 5 and makes it a positive z. Because now if I distribute through by that negative, it turns back to that 5 and negative z. Now these are actually the same quantities. The order is different, but they're the same group. And so if I factor that z minus 5 out, I'm left with z minus 5, which I could say is z minus 5, the quantity squared. Now this is the full factoring method here because we have the polynomials with four terms. We look to see if we can factor by grouping. It's a method that helps us factor four-term polynomials. So within this, we need to first find the group. We don't see the group in this one, but I see a b in these first two terms. So if I factor a b out of those first two terms, I'm left with b times a minus 2. So I'm looking at this part of the problem. Plus, and I can do the same thing over here. These both have a c. So if I factor a c, I'm left with a minus 2. Now notice after you factor out those terms, this group ends up being the same, a minus 2. So I can factor out the a minus 2 and I'm left with the b plus c. So for factor by grouping, you first need to group together two terms. So you can factor out a common factor, which gives you the same group. Then you factor out the group, so now you have the two binomials being multiplied together. So we have factor by grouping here, in this example here, uh, I see that in these first two terms they both have x's and the second two terms they both have threes. So I'm looking for the common factors. So I'm going to pull out the x squared. I'm left with x plus 2. And then the next one I'm pulling out 3 and I'm left with x plus 2. So I can factor out the x plus 2 and I have an x squared plus 3. So this would be the factored form of the original problem. Be careful when we have minus signs. When we factor here, a lot of times I tell students to rewrite this so it's plus a negative 9x plus 18. When you're factoring the groups, that negative is part of that group. And so be careful when you're factoring that first value out. So here we're pulling out x squared again. We have x minus 2 left over. And this one will pull out a negative 9 and we'll have x minus 2 left over. Be careful you pull it negative. Uh, make sure that the operation still holds a negative times a negative is positive. So now we can factor out the x minus 2 and we're left with x squared minus 9. 
So we can use that same logic when we're affecting trinomials. So this doesn't have four terms in it, but the, with a kind of a simple trick here, we can make it have four terms. We're looking for numbers that multiply to be 20, but we're going to add to be negative 9. So we're looking at like a, a negative 5 times a negative 4. Those multiply to be 20, but they add to be negative 9. So instead of me writing this as x squared minus 9x, I'm going to write x squared minus 4x minus 5x plus 20. So I just decided to rewrite the 9x as negative 4x minus 5x. The reason why I could do that is now I could use factor by grouping to factor this. So now again, this is really the plus a negative 5x plus 20. So I'm going to factor out an x in this first quantity. I have x minus 4 plus, and then let's factor out a negative 5. I want to have x minus 4 again. And then so we get x minus 4 times x minus 5. So factor by grouping also helps us with trinomials if we can rewrite this middle term as these two terms. Now, for this one, it's not a big deal when it's got a value of 1. It's not any help really. It's, it's slower. It's a lot more steps than us just using logic. That two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to the negative negative uh, 9. So that's the, this is the grouping method. The logic method was us just go x, x, two numbers that multiply to be negative or positive 20 but add to be negative 9, done. So it works either way. Now when we start doing these problems or factoring these problems with an a value that's not 1, this factor by grouping might help you out more. It's a method that when you get stuck will be useful. So I'm going to stop the factor by grouping. We are going to use it in future sections though. Have a good night.